staying busy and finishing with that last punch if they can. Look at that. Well, Bob Hall is catching Roland coming in. He's caught him two or three times like that now, Tim. Roland takes a heck of a rap. Minute remaining, almost a minute five remaining here in round number two. Look at this action. Look, and these kids punch. Tim Rolon has become the aggressive in this round. He's moving Carvajal back. Neither boxer willing to take a rest. Tremendously busy action. Be a tough one to score. Roland keeps up the pressure on Carvajal. Coming to the end of round number two. Round number two as we follow Michael Carbajal back to his corner. That's his brother, Danny Carbajal, in uh, working the corner with him. The head coach, Roosevelt Sanders. Some action from round number two. Beautiful straight right hand right on the button by Cabo. One, two, the old classic one, two, Tim Jeb, right hand. But again, we have to reiterate uh, that that only counts for a third of a point in amateur boxing and uh, whether even the, the pressuring tactics of roll on would win the round for him. It's, it's uh, terribly subjective, although it supposedly uh, comes on the notion of literally counting punches to settle it, the uh, scoring in a round of amateur boxing. Yeah, I'd like to see a judge that can do that. I gave the second round to roll on, Tim. He came on pretty good. Fights up for grabs right now. Round number three for the gold medal in the light flyweight division. 106 pounders. They've been punching their hearts out from the opening bell. I have this fight dead even, Tim. The winner of this round, in my opinion, is the winner of the fight. Last round, Roland put the pressure on Cabo Hall and managed to back him up. Now, when Cabo Hall makes Roland miss like that, Timmy has to counter. He has to score some points. Timmy made him miss again. Got to set himself a little quicker. Nice combination by Roland. And another combination by Roland. Roland picking up the pace in this third round and making it pay off for him. Carvajal has not been getting off, as they say in boxing parlance. He has not been throwing the first punch and then following it up. Another right hand by Roland. Roland pressuring Carvajal right from the beginning of this third and what Bill feels could be the crucial round. There's Carvajal with a good combination inside, but Roland just fires back. Can't discourage him, Tim. He's hit him with some good shots, but Roland keeps coming. Another right down the pipe from Carvajal. Roland definitely has set the tempo of this third round. Seems to have another right hand by Roland. Seems to have the hand speed, Tim. A little better condition, a little stronger. Luis Roland. Rico is in Vega Baja, 20 years of age. Big family, 10 brothers and sisters. Well, Tim, here's a case where Bob Hall beat the world champion, and now, in my opinion, he's behind in this fight. <laughs> 45 seconds remaining. to the body inside there is just and beating Carvajal to the punch through this third round. A little too quick and too active for him, Tim. Carvajal 
ball just cannot get Roland to take a step back. And Roland never stops punching. <laughs> Coming to the end of the bout, Luis Roland and Michael Carbajal, they gave it their all, and it's all over. Luis Roland and Michael Carbajal, the first gold medal bout of these Pan American Games. And a strong finish in our view by Luis Roland will probably give him the goal. Let's see if five judges at ringside or a majority of them agree. We'll return with the decision here in Indianapolis in a moment. Before the decision, the first gold medal to be awarded at 106 pounds. Let's go to the ring announcer, Michael Musa. Ladies and gentlemen, in our previous bout, we have a unanimous decision. Señoras y señores, en el combate anterior, tenemos una decisión unánime. With your gold medal winner in the red corner from Puerto Rico, Luis Rolón. And it is Luis Rolón with a very strong third round, no doubt giving him the victory over Michael Carbajal. Four Americans remain in the battles for the gold.